Is it finished? Yes, Leo. It's finished. Not for Zorro. There will be other days, other battles to fight. It is your curse of destiny. My beautiful Elena. The world is a strange place. To have found you at last, only to lose you again. You will never lose me. So it was. Lightning split the sky, and the shook the air. Then all was quiet. The great warrior known as Zorro was gone. The people of the land gave him a hero's funeral, the largest anyone had ever seen. They came from far and wide to say farewell to the brave and noble champion. Don't worry, little Joaquin. Whenever great deeds are remembered, your grandfather will live on. For there must always, always be a sorrow. And someday, when he's needed, we will see him again. On his fearsome steep tornado, riding like the wind, his sword blazing in the sun, leaping, jumping, yeah! Fighting like a lion! Fighting like a tiger! Fighting! As safely as possible. Is this your idea of putting the baby to sleep? Sleep tight, my son. When I sleep, I will dream of this dashing rogue, Zorro. But what face shall I give him? He has been many different men, but he has loved you as all of them. How can I refuse such a man? Do you know where I might find him? You know, Zorro. to stay. 
when the government's most powerful prosecutor... You think anything goes on in the federal building without me knowing it? ...goes after you. Joe's in jail. CBS Monday, a vendetta against one partner. People request he be held without bail. How the hell would this happen? Shuts down an entire law firm. Leave them alone. No, I want them gone, just like you. And jeopardizes personal lives. Just when I become partner, I could lose everything. Don't miss Monday's highest-rated drama. The ATM card doesn't work, but the account has been frozen. All new Family Law, CBS Monday. Monday on The Late Show, Dave's got Kimmy, the latest survivor voted out of the Outback. Plus, actor Kevin Pollack and music from the Dave Matthews Band. Now your local news. Tom Air and its pilots could be coming to terms, or there could be a strike, but there is new movement to tell you about tonight. A young girl loses her arm in a farming accident. And a calmer night after a very blustery day in the Tri-State. 12 News is next. You're watching 12 WKRC-TV, a new generation of news. Now, non-stop news and Mike Burridge with No Wait Weather. 12 News at 11 starts now. Good evening, I'm Paula Todi. We begin with a developing story. Comair has made an offer and now the pilots' union will vote, but the union is also primed for a strike. Comair made its final offer this evening. The airline is offering a wage increase of more than 40%, boosting the top rate for a 50-seat regional jet captain to $100 an hour, a retirement plan fully funded by the airline and improved work rules, including more days off and limits to the length of work days. Pilots will have the offer in their hands in about a week. Results of the ratification vote will be announced no later than March 19th. Melanoma is the most serious form of skin cancer. In the last few months, we've reported on the disease striking personalities from Maureen Reagan to John McCain. It's now taken a young life much closer to home, that of a Bengals cheerleader. 12 News reporter Paul Adler joins us live in the newsroom with the story of her struggle. Paul? Paula, on the Bengals website, Michelle Noah talks about persistence. Right down here, there's a question. What advice would you give to young kids about becoming a cheerleader? Answer, work hard, and keep up the dedication and persistence to succeed. Not just words for Michelle Noah, it's the way she lived. She uh, didn't make it the first year, and undeterred, undaunted. If you try and don't succeed, try, try again. It's a saying a Bengals cheerleader lived by the last three years. She was so sharp and so tough that we... She danced as if she had been on for a while. It took Michelle Noah three tries to make the Bengals. She made it just in time to live her dream. We've been asked to be in a lot of weddings, but never. Charlotte Jacobs is working on a eulogy. The woman on her squad with the contagious smile, the determination cut down by skin cancer. She fought with all her heart and did not want anyone to think she could not do the job due to illness. She dealt with the situation with such courage that I am sure she has left a permanent mark on every young cheerleader here. Michelle's friends were, were so tight. And Doug Noah watched his wife battle the disease for the last two and a half years. And she had some really aggressive checkups. She bounced back and uh, cheered at events and in pain. Michelle knew what real love was before, way before I did. It's been a tough couple of days actually horrible. Jacobs is vowing to make skin cancer awareness an important part of the Bengals' work next season. Meantime, she says goodbye to a friend. I know he took Michelle as his chosen angel and we will always feel her in our presence. We have never had to bury one of our own. He chose Michelle because he has other plans for her. We have to accept that and remember the love and faith she had in us as her partners and friends and know we must continue to make her proud of us for she will always be a Bengal and part of our soul. That flag in honor of her service to country, she's an Air National Guard veteran. Services for Michelle Noah tomorrow night in Milford. We're live in the newsroom. Back to you. Well, Paul, you know, this is just something you don't associate with such a young woman. No, you don't. At 28 years old, you don't. You know, she continued to cheer even though she had lymph nodes removed from her. She did it because she just, she just wanted to. And it's a, it's a very sad thing to happen to a young person, but there may be a lesson for the rest of us in it. Exactly. All right. Thanks a lot. Paul Lather reporting live tonight. Well, on that message, if you catch it early, melanoma can be cured. That is the message one local expert wants all of us to know. The best thing is early diagnosis so that uh, if, you, if you do have, if, if you do, do develop a melanoma and then you can remove it locally, then it has a very good chance of being cured completely. 
Dr. Jeffrey Sussman has this advice. Use sunscreens to try to avoid sunburns. Look for any changes in moles. If there's any doubt, get it removed just to be safe. Melanoma is a very common cancer. One in 75 people will be diagnosed with it in their lifetime. Another big story in the Tri-State involves the weather. High winds today toppled trees and knocked down power lines. This tree fell at the corner of Riley and Glenway in Wyoming this afternoon. No one was hurt. Meteorologist Mike Burge has more on today's windy conditions and no wait weather. What a day, Mike. Well, you're right, Paul. At least it was very mild, but we had this long period of sustained winds of 25 to 40 miles per hour, gusts up to and occasionally in excess of 50 miles per hour for a solid about 24 hours. It started early last evening before finally diminishing this evening, and that long duration resulted in those downed trees. But for tomorrow, a much more quieter day and a pretty good-looking Monday under partly sunny skies. Sure, it won't be as warm, but with less wind and some sun, not too bad a day. We start out near 30 or in the lower 30s and a high temperature in the mid to upper 40s. Just when you thought there was a chance that spring has sprung, there's a little snow in your forecast. I'll have the details on that in a few minutes, Paula. Mm, all right. Thanks, Mike. A local woman is facing charges after her daughter's pit bull attacked a teenager. Police have charged 44-year-old Belinda Carter with harboring a vicious animal, a felony. The pit bull belonged to Carter's daughter, who wasn't home at the time of the attack. Continuing our nonstop coverage of the Tri-State tonight, it happened last night outside a home in Madison Place. Witnesses tell 12 News the 15-year-old boy was standing in a front yard when the dog jumped a nearby fence, tearing into his neck and hands. The teen was treated and released from the hospital. Carter's daughter may also face charges for not registering her pit bull with the city. A Mason High School teacher faces public indecency charges this evening. Cincinnati police arrested 29-year-old Damon Smith Friday after allegedly exposing himself to a plainclothes officer at Burnett Woods Park. Smith is out on bond tonight. A five-year-old girl is hospitalized tonight after a horrific farm accident in Claremont County. Emily Wisby's arm was severed after falling from a tractor in Goshen Township. Paramedics rushed to the critically injured girl to Children's Hospital. As 12 News reporter Kim Dillon shows us, Emily's plight touched many today. 911, what is your emergency? For more than 20 years, Galen Williams has found himself part of the worst moments in some people's lives. Please, my knife, my daughter fell off the tractor. Today, it was also one of his worst moments. Today was a little tough because, uh, I guess, because it was a child involved. Oh, no! Please help! Five-year-old Emily Wisby was critically injured. Her arm severed while riding on a tractor on her family's Goshen Township farm. My daughter right there! Your first priority is to get them assistance. And you have to put everything else aside and focus on that. Emily was flown to Children's Hospital where doctors would try and reattach her mangled arm. You know, when you hear that they are able to airlift you know, this child out of there and know that, you know, she's going to survive at least, that makes it worth it. For the first rescue workers on the scene, a serious injury to such a young child takes its toll. It's very sad. I have a daughter myself, but she's nine. And I think of that when that happens. It's real sad. It's hard to keep your composure. For Galen Williams, the events of the day will go home with him. Well, there's four little kids at home that just happened to be at my house this weekend uh, visiting Grandma and Grandpa, and I'm going to give them an extra hug. Emily is in critical condition, and unfortunately, we're told doctors were not able to save the girl's arm. Police wonder if a man who ran down students in a Southern California college town did it deliberately. Continuing our nonstop coverage of America tonight, this new home video of the aftermath shows other students subduing the driver. Police say 18-year-old David Adias hit nine parked cars and several pedestrians walking along the road. Four people died. One newspaper report reports witnesses saying they heard the man saying he was shouting, I'm the angel of death. He'll be arraigned tomorrow on drunken driving and vehicular homicide charges. For the second night in a row, riots during Mardi Gras in Seattle forced police to react in riot gear. Early this morning, police struggled with partygoers, upset that the bars were trying to close. People poured into the streets, forcing authorities to use pepper spray and shoot with rubber bullets. Tear gas and concussion bombs were also sent into the crowd of nearly 2,000. One officer was injured and about six people arrested. Secretary of State Colin Powell is urging Israeli leaders to lift an economic siege on the West Bank and Gaza. Continuing our nonstop coverage of the world tonight, the constraints are keeping Palestinian workers from getting to their jobs in Israel.
Powell says this doesn't help security. He says if people can't get to work, they become more frustrated and angry, which leads to more violence. In the meantime, the Secretary of State says peace talks have halted, adding it may be a long time before they resume. It was a special night on the ice at the First Star Center. Scott Hamilton received a standing ovation. This is his farewell performance tour. Tara Lipinski, Christy Yamaguchi, and other stars also skated before a packed house tonight. A way of life for some farmers in the tri-state is being threatened. Later on 12 News, a look at a change that could put some farmers out of the tobacco business. I'm Harvey Smilovitz. Coming up on the Ford Dealer Sports Authority, NASCAR remembers Dale Earnhardt. Xavier and UK are getting ready for March Madness. And Brad goes one-on-one -on -one with Ken Griffey Jr. down in Sarasota. And tonight, you make the call on the red season. Give us a call, 345-1212, right now. We'll have results just ahead on The Authority. The expansion of more super fitness in the Forest Fair Mall is nearing completion. Join now for $19.99 a month. Hurry, the $19.99 special ends soon. Monday at 11 on 12 News, they wanted to save money for their children's education. I figured I'd put it in the bank and that way it would be safe and, you know, be there for them when they came time to use it. But when they checked on their account, the money was gone. It's a troubleshooter alert you can't afford to miss. Also, is your weight affecting your wallet? Does it matter if you're a man or a woman? A 12 News investigation explains how your earning power could expand by reducing the size of your waist. Monday at 11 and only on 12 News. Hello, I'm Jeff Weiler. And I'm David Weiler. And now through the end of February, we're offering the Aries exclusive $1,500 GM Auto Show coupon. This Auto Show coupon is only good at Jeff Weiler, Chevrolet, Buick, and Pontiac, and can be used towards the purchase or lease of any of the nearly 500 GM vehicles in stock. During this event, no GM vehicle will be excluded. So come on out to Eastgate today and take advantage of the Aries only $1,500 Auto Show coupon. Jeff Weiler, Chevrolet, Buick, and Pontiac in the Eastgate Auto Mall. It's a deal that's close to home. Uncle Sims Winter Furniture Sale. Don't rent. Buy your TV, stereos, and appliances at Sims Furniture. All betting on sale. Second chance credit, Sims Furniture in Covington. The 99 cent Arby's Melt. Tender, slow roasted beef and hot cheddar cheese sauce. Just 99 cents. Get to Arby's and satisfy your grown up tastes. Now, from the Doppler 12 Weather Center, meteorologist Mike Burridge. Well, we talked about it several days last week leading up to the weekend. Boy, a windy couple of days, but temperatures at least unseasonably mild, making it into the 60s. But we did have that scattered tree damage uh, simply from the strong winds and the duration of high winds. Part of a massive storm system that produced paralyzing snowfall in the high plains and unfortunately deadly tornadoes in the southern U.S. So let's head first to parts of Mississippi that were hard hit by a strong tornado that was on the ground for more than 40 miles through central and northern parts of that state. Death toll now appears to be perhaps as high as 10, a number of injuries and of course widespread damage with a tornado that at times was a half mile wide, one of several tornadoes that affected parts of Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, eastward to Alabama, even the panhandle of Florida has had some severe weather this evening. For us, though, again, just a lot of wind today. And take a look at this nice time lapse from Tire Cam. You can even see the camera moving a little bit because of the gusty winds that were up to as high as 40 miles per hour at times. But a good deal of sunshine, even though we had these fast moving clouds moving through, temperatures still managed to make it up into the 60s in what really was a pretty nice day compared to what we could have for, for the last week or so of February with a beautiful sunset this evening. And there's a look at Synergy Field, which of course continues to be worked on. You know, opening day is not all that far away, about uh, oh, six, seven weeks from now, so it won't be too long before baseball is being played again here in the Queen City. Here's a look at uh, today's numbers. The high temperature again, unseasonably mild at 63 after a low of 37. Actually, that low occurring this evening as the temperatures have been falling off. The record, low, record lows of 7 below and the record high 72. 38 right now, 73% the humidity, still a little bit breezy, but nothing compared to the past 24 hours, and the winds will continue to subside through the night. The pressure is rising the Ohio River at about uh, 29 and a half feet. Rainfall last night, about 6 tenths of an inch, but you had to be up for it late if you either that or up early this morning, I guess, and most of it occurring between about 2 and 6 in the morning. A few rumbles of thunder, some of those gusty winds too, and just about everyone at least a half inch of rain, and locally some amounts approaching an inch. So pretty nice rain, but all of it occurring overnight. 
leaving us with a pretty nice day yesterday and a pretty nice day today too. And here you can see this classic spin in the clouds and precipitation shield moving to the northeast up through the mid-Mississippi Valley and then up into Canada and the circulation around that drawing in the cooler air and the, certainly the strong winds too, but at least drying us out for the time being. But yet another storm system now producing rain in L.A. and also Phoenix has designs on spreading some precipitation into the tri-state too. High pressure in control though for the day tomorrow, so we're looking at a fair amount of sunshine and all temperatures will be cooler. For Again, for this time of year, certainly not bad, but watch out to the west here as moisture continues to increase and gradually spread toward the east by early Tuesday. We'll just see an increase in clouds at that point for the tri-state, but the precipitation won't be far behind beginning Tuesday afternoon as some light rain before turning over to light snow Tuesday night into early Wednesday. Not a major storm, but I can't rule out at least some accumulation Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. So tonight's skies will continue to clear and we'll continue to see diminishing winds and a low temperature of about 32. Partly sunny tomorrow with lighter winds. Not too bad a day. A high of 47. Increasing clouds tomorrow night as that moisture spreads up across the Ohio Valley. Tri-state included, of course. We'll drop the low to 32. Tuesday, plenty of clouds. Temperatures continue to drop somewhat. Highs in the upper 30s. Light rain in the afternoon. And it won't stay liquid very long. Once the precipitation begins, it should very, fairly quickly turn over to some snow for Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. And again, Paula, not a major storm, but probably enough to whiten things once again a little bit before we warm up by the end of the week right back up into the mid-40s. But the tulips are up. Yes, my crocuses are, are starting to come yeah, out. Yeah, and you notice the tulips, like from yesterday, grew about an inch mm -hmm. with the rain and the warm weather. So hopefully then, they're not going to get zapped when they start to bloom here in a few weeks. Really? All right, thanks. All right. We'll be right back. Hold on. We've got more prizes. For the student who sells the most candy, a weekend pass to Coastal Kingdom. So get out there and sell that candy. The new Passat. It only looks like a million bucks. I was sitting in the front of the class squinting like this. You'd be surprised how many children have problems seeing the blackboard, and they don't even know it. I think it's very important to be able to trust who you go see and know that you're getting good quality. Walmart has state-of-the-art equipment and quality brand-name eye care products. I didn't have to squint anymore. I could see. I really enjoy helping people see better. Get a professional eye exam from the Independent Doctor of Optometry at Walmart. Personally, I think I look quite distinguished in classes. Folks, if somehow you can get to the Bunnings carpet nearest you before Wednesday night, you can save a ton of money because there's a huge, sickening price rise on carpet, vinyl, ceramic, and laminate, but you still have no interest or payments for over a year, but save yourself some money. Get the Buddy's carpet before Wednesday night. You got a buddy in the carpet business. Hello, everyone. I'm Nick Clooney. Well, we've known each other a long time, you and I. And now I'm on the radio, 1530 WSAI, every morning. What you'll hear is the greatest popular music of all time, done by your favorite artists, Frank and Nat and Celine and Barbara and so many more. That's why we play continuous favorites all day long. Nick Clooney, early mornings on Cincinnati's original hit station. Join me, won't you? 1530 WSAI. Behind me is the bakery where we make all of the yummy messes. At the end of the day, it is an absolute disaster back here. We are in a cloud of powdered sugar. Blah, blah. I've seen some terrific messes, and I've always been able to clean them up with stuff from Walmart. I can just grab an item, and I know I'm getting a good price. Once we're at Walmart getting stuff for work, we might as well shop for home as well. We're on a tight budget, so we trust Walmart to keep our business running. We've got messes to make and cakes to bake. <laughs> You've got to love a place like Walmart. How your weight affects your wallet. Monday at 11 on 12 News. For the latest weather, call 12 in touch or log on to theweatherauthority.com. Brought to you by Delta. A tradition that supported thousands of families for most of the past century could soon be ending in Kentucky. And it could also change how the state's biggest crop, tobacco, is grown. 12 News reporter Frank Graff has the story. generations of the Collins family have opened their farm barn doors to the light of day. Boarded the tractor and surveyed the hills and hollows 
Locust Bend Farm near Mayfield, Kentucky. Oh, somewhere about 2,000 acres. Uh, basically about everything you see around here belongs to us. In recent years, it's become a full-scale dairy operation. But the farm still depends on what has kept it going for 96 years. Tobacco, which is the mainstay, uh, this farm has last year somewhere around 80,000 pounds of tobacco base. We put out around 40 acres of tobacco last year. Tobacco farming has never been easy. Obviously, you can't drop that out of the barn because if you do, it just shatters on impact. Mother Nature doesn't help. It breaks up. The winter's extreme cold ruined the color and overdried the tobacco. Being so dry, and no moisture in the air, it just falls apart. It won't be easy to transport and sell. But the weather is always an unknown. So it's the tobacco auction that's the great equalizer to nature's whim. Place to sell product. Good years are lean. You know, I approximately got a pound of tobacco in my hand. That pound of tobacco represents a thousand cigarettes. Uh, that's five cartons of tobacco. Hey, 89, I got nine. Hey, 89, well. One acre of tobacco revenue to the farmer is usually anywhere from thirty-five to thirty-eight hundred dollars. And now there's fears the tobacco companies want to hold up that safety net for good. If the program goes by the wayside, uh, which is a distinct possibility, what will happen to tobacco and farmers in this area? Big Tobacco is signing contracts with individual farmers to control costs. Companies are buying entire crops of large farms rather than bidding on the burley at auction. That's why this is Larry Kohlmeyer's last burley auction after 30 years of farming. He'll sell his entire crop to Philip Morris next year. No more auction commissions and a guaranteed price. Well, I figured that this was the route to go because uh, you knew approximately what you were going to get per pound when you brought it in. Contract growing eliminates the need for auction, but that could put small farmers like Dan Burkhart out of business. Burkhart drove five hours to get his bales graded, weighed, and sold. He's worried big tobacco won't deal with small farmers, and without an auction, there's nowhere to sell his crop. That'll hurt it. I think they'll get the uh, farmers over a barrel later on, and then they won't have no choice or no options and get even less money. This is more what they're looking for. In the As for Jamie Collins, he but salvaged it, the last of his crop. 7,600-some pounds on the floor today. But we hope that... Well, I average about $1.94 or something for the whole crop. Yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some of it did okay, and some of it probably had to go back up there and check on it, but some of it didn't do too hot. And sold it for six cents a pound less than he hoped. But the auction gave him a way to make something. That's why he hopes its protection won't be lost. The support system, I like it. Um, guarantees the tobacco farmer a, a decent price for his hard work because he's not sure Big Tobacco would deal with him. I had a couple baskets I rejected. It just It's just because of the color of the tobacco. Grade didn't come out right? Yeah, it didn't, didn't grade well. And he's preparing to plant another year. Frank Graff, 12 News. Ahead, Xavier and Kentucky continue their march to madness, plus NASCAR gets back on track following last Sunday's tragedy. Harvey's highlights are next. For a great car at a great rate, call or click Thrifty. Please prepare for landing. The incredible comfort, style, and selection of the chairs at Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries are enough to knock anyone off their feet. You may leave your chair in the fully reclined position. It's been said, when you find something that fits, you've got to buy two. Pick a pair. Any two stylish Lazy Boy chairs, one low price. Now, only at Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. And now for something genuinely different from Dodge. It's the truck that redefined what a full-size pickup should be. Dodge Ram. A million have switched to Dodge trucks. 
And now, with low 0.9 financing on Ram, you'll find the difference may actually be even better. Dodge Ram. Different. A lot of people have their own different style. If you like it and you feel confident with it, you shouldn't really care about what other people yeah. think about it. Lucretia is my niece, and Colette and Carolyn, they are her friends. Walmart has great clothes for spring. And mix and match and do everything with it. They encourage each other. They help each other. Like peas in a pod. I pick out the shoes. She picks out the accessories. Yeah. Lucretia picks out the clothes. I love shopping with these girls. They keep me young. At Walmart, shopping together is fun. So the three of us together make the perfect outfit. For a great car at a great rate, call or click Thrifty. We came to Toyota's proving ground to face the competition and prove who's the best. And that's exactly what Corolla did against Honda Civic. Corolla overpowered it, outhandled it, and outlasted it. Any questions? Now, lease a Corolla for just $1.99 a month for 48 months with just $1,850 due at signing and no security deposit. Toyota's proven value sales event has been extended through February 28th. See your Toyota dealer today. This portion of 12 News is brought to you by Toyota. Now, sports anchor Harvey Smilovitz with the stories behind the scores. Welcome back. The U.K. Wildcats are an NCAA lock, and today, U.K. is looking to extend its winning streak to nine straight, facing the Razorbacks. Let's go to Arkansas, where the Cats are off and running. Cliff Hawkins, nice pass here to Tayshaun Prince. That puts the Cats up by six points. Keith Bogans with the three gives U.K. the lead back, 30 to 27. Then it's Bogans again with the bomb. All 17 of his points come in the first half. Former Princeton star Eric Daniels helps the Cats go up by six at halftime. Daniels with the lefty layup. He finished with 11 points. Cats fall behind in the second half, though. Daniels follows the Bogans miss. It's Arkansas 66-62. Check out the outlet to Tayshawn, who misses his final six shots, including this one, but Gerald Fitch is there to score. However, UK can't get any closer than three down the stretch. Gennaro Pargo's three helps the Razorbacks snap Kentucky's eight-game winning streak. Your final's 82-78. Xavier's NCAA chances the past two seasons have been killed by LaSalle. So today, the Muskies with a chance to get even with the Explorers. Let's go to Philadelphia. LaSalle turns it over here. Romain Sato to Lionel Chalmers. Look at him get up for the slam. Then it's Mo McAfee feeding David Young for the three. X on a 12-0 run, leading 33-11. Great X defense. Holding LaSalle to 17 first half points. West ties the school record with seven blocks. Muskies up 24 at the break. Now watch Mo's great bounce pass to West. Jam at home, West also with 22 points, 13 rebounds. Kevin Fry beats the press, heaving it down to Lloyd Price, basket and foul. Xavier destroys LaSalle, 79-55. Muskies now 21-5, 12-3 in the A-10. Xavier women close out their regular season as A-10 champs, beating St. Bonaventure, 93-82. Senior center Taru Tukkanen leads the Muskies with 25 points. Xavier ends the regular season 25-2. 15-1 in the 8-10, and will begin conference tournament play Saturday at noon in Philadelphia. Well, Reds catcher Jason LaRue doesn't have to worry or winning, trying to win a job in spring training. No, now that Eddie Tobbins is gone, LaRue will be the main man behind the plate. In the past couple of years, when I get called up, I try and impress right away and put a little bit too much pressure on myself. And instead of letting my ability just take over, it's take, it took me a little while to... I guess so-called relax when I'd gotten called out the past two years. But uh, as far as right now, I, I mean, I'm more relaxed than I've ever been. Uh, confidence and stuff is still the same. It's just uh, I think I can relax from the get-go this year and, and just let my ability take over. Now, Brad will have much more from spring training coming up on the authority. But tonight, we want to know where you think the Reds will finish this season. World Series? NLCS winners at least take the NL Central. Miss the playoffs entirely, or do we dare say finish under 500? Give us a call right now. Pick up the phone, dial 345 1212. Cast your vote. We'll have results tonight on the Ford Dealer Sports Authority. Perhaps it was fitting gloomy skies and rain at today's Dura Loop 400, NASCAR's first race following the death of Dale Earnhardt. And Dale Waltrip led the tribute for the Intimidator. Let's go to Rockingham.
to take the hand by the person beside you. And let's all bond together. And let's all take a few moments to remember Dale and what a great driver he was and all the great memories that he leaves behind. And this young man, Kevin Harvick. Now, Bush driver Kevin Harvick taking over the Chevy previously driven by Earnhardt. Rain delayed the start an hour and a half. The first lap, Earnhardt Jr. is bumped by rookie Ron Hornaday. The crash here looks eerily similar to the one that took his father's life. Junior limps away with only bruises, luckily. Drivers completed 52 of 393 laps before rain postpones the rest of the race. They'll start their engines again tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock. Let's go to Cincinnati Gardens. Ducks fans having all kinds of fun until Norfolk's Mark Bell scores. That makes it one to nothing, but the Ducks answer. Sergei Vyshedkovich with the blast. Ducks go on to beat the Admirals today. Final score is three to two. Finally, tonight's highlight it's not about Gary Sheffield or Deion Sanders, no, but rather undisputed light heavyweight champion Roy Jones Jr., who the experts say no longer is the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter. But he drilled Derek Harmon for 10 rounds last night, failing to answer the bell for the 11th in Tampa. Jones is now 44-1 with 36 KOs, and he says he is ready to take on all comers. And I think he is still the best pound-for-pound, -pound. yeah. And did you notice I got in ice skating early in their show at the First Star Center? All right. <laughs> I know you were jealous. Good for we'll you. be right back with a quick check of the forecast. Love Scott it. Hamilton. Love it, dog. Introducing the latest in all-weather gear from L.L. Bean. It's warm, waterproof, and rugged. It's the new L.L. Bean Edition Outback from Subaru with full-time all-wheel drive, classic L.L. Bean styling, and a new powerful six-cylinder engine that makes the toughest drive a walk in the woods. The L.L. Bean Edition Outback, new from Subaru. Arca, sold separately. Now you can get financing as low as 3.9% APR on all 2001 models. Guess what the interior of the all-new Dodge Caravan is as quiet as? Dodge Grand Caravan, the best minivan ever. Now get 0.9 financing on Dodge Caravan SE and Caravan Sport. Every day can be a surprise. There's never a dull moment working here. I always had heard that Walmart was a good company to work for. Our number one goal is to keep our customers happy. That's 100% of your job. We laugh. We laugh at Walmart. We have fun. Walmart! It's very important to make the customer happy because the customer is number one here at Walmart. Just go over there with a smile on your face and that may turn their day around. It's like a family. It's like a big, happy family. I love coming to work every day. How many people can say that? Walmart is a great place to work for anybody. In the past year, 788 families purchased their new home from Holiday Homes or Freedom Homes. Why? Because they found the best new home value on the market today. Holiday Homes and Freedom Homes have combined to offer the most extensive selection of affordable new homes in 28 subdivisions in Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana. Manufactured and modular homes, conventional site-built, ranches and two-stories. New homes from $30,000 to $170,000. No other builder can offer so much. Visit our website, the Holiday Home Sales Center, or Freedom Home Subdivision today. Chrysler minivans continue to receive more and more and more awards. Now it's time to reward you with the Chrysler and Jeep Rewards Program. For a limited time, you can get 0.9% APR financing or a $1,500 cash allowance on minivans. So reward yourself today. Drive home one of our award winners. And that's better than taking home a trophy. See your Chrysler dealer today. 12 News Sports Anchor Brad Johansson, a new generation of news. For health information, call 345-1212, extension HEAL, or log on to thehealthauthority.com. All right, a new day begins in a few seconds. Uh, it, yeah, that it does, <laughs> indeed. And not too bad on Monday. Skies will become partly sunny, and temperatures will make it up to 47. So not as warm as today, but for this time of year, still a pretty good bargain. And some precipitation moves in Tuesday night into early Wednesday. A little bit of snow at that point. Just a reminder that it's been nice, but... We're not quite done with winter yet. Oh, the winter oh. that drags on. All right. And the Ford Dealer Sports Authority next. One on one with Ken Griffey Jr. Stick around. It's the Fifth Third Bank Cincinnati Home and Garden Show presented by GMC. This year, don't miss the spectacular secret gardens, unique new products, fine furnishings, and the area's best remodelers, landscapers, and contractors. All at the Cincinnati Convention Center. A heart production. 
Shoppers and gardeners can purchase from over 100 artisans and retailers at the all-new Garden Market with exceptional shopping, gourmet food, and seminars free during this year's show. The Garden Market, this weekend, March 2nd through the 4th, a heart production. Ponderosa Steakhouse has great news for all-you-can-eat lovers. Now when you enjoy a delicious chicken or steak or shrimp dinner for just $9.99, you'll get more. You'll get all the sirloin steak or chicken Monterey or fried mini shrimp you can eat. Plus an all-you-can-eat buffet and Baker's Nook desserts and all for just $9.99. Three mouth-watering favorites, one wonderful decision. Who's up for a great steak dinner? Ponderosa Steakhouse. Legendary Jeep vehicles continue to receive more and more awards. Now it's time to reward you with the Chrysler and Jeep Rewards Program. For a limited time, you can get 0.9% APR financing on both Jeep Grand Cherokee and Cherokee. Or returning Daimler Chrysler lessees with preferred credit can lease a Cherokee Sport for just $2.29 a month. So reward yourself today. Drive home one of our award winners. It's better than taking home a trophy. See your Jeep dealer today. Together. The NASCAR drivers join forces to remember the late Dale Earnhardt today. The Red Camp has Boone and Boone discussing their father-son relationship with Brad Johansson down in Sarasota. Ken Griffey Jr. tells how family's helping him at spring training. Plus Xavier and Kentucky each hoping they're playing like a close-knit unit heading to March Madness. Tonight we've got it all together for you here on the Ford Dealers Sports Authority. Welcome to the Ford Dealer Sports Authority. I'm Harvey Smilovitz. Brad Johansson wraps up his week at Red Spring Training in Sarasota, going one-on-one -on -one with Ken Griffey Jr. and Jim Bowden, plus a look at the relationship between Bob Boone and his son Aaron. But first, we're talking X and UK hoops. The Musketeers know a loss at this point in the season kills their NCAA chances. So they came out blazing against LaSalle today. Let's go to Philadelphia. David West misses the shot, so Kevin Fry dunks the first basket. Fry 13 points, 11 rebounds. Romain Sato is firing from the wing. X goes on a 10-0 run. Sato finishes with 10 points. Watch Lionel Chalmers pick Victor Thomas. Then Sato gets him the ball back. Chalmers gets up and throws it down. David West ties the school record with seven blocks today. Garrett Bragg gets stuffed once. Garrett Bragg gets stuffed one more time. And West offensively, well, he misses the shot, but gets one of his 13 rebounds, spins out of the double team, and gets the reverse. What a nice play. Then Mo McAfee with a great pass to West for the dunk. Completes his 18th double-double to give him 22 points. And Mo backdoors to Chalmers. X having all the fun today as Lloyd Price finishes his 14-point day. Muskie's now 21-5, 12-3 in the A-10 after blowing out LaSalle, 79-55. No doubt the UK Wildcats have already locked up an NCAA spot. Now they're playing for higher, higher seating in the tournament, taking on the Razorbacks today. Let's go to Arkansas. They're playing Survivor. Hey, do you know Roger Bingham from Crittenden? Anyway, Keith Bogans for three. He scored all 17 of his points in the first half. Tayshawn Prince bombs the inbound pass to Bogans. Nice look to Eric Daniels for the dunk and the foul. Late first half. Daniels with the pick. Now Bogans collects the loose ball to the former Princeton star. Eric Daniels finishes with 11 points, 5 rebounds. UK by 6 at the break. Second half, Alonzo Lane slams home the miss 3. The Cats are now in trouble. Check out the baseball pass to Prince down court. Now he blows the layup, but Gerald Fitch is there for the putback. But here's your knockout punch. Gennaro Pargo with the big shot. It's a 3, and UK goes down. 82-78, Cats fall to 18-8, 11-3 in the SEC. The new coaches poll is out tonight. Sanford is the unanimous number one choice. Duke is up to two. Michigan State jumps to number three. North Carolina drops two spots to four. Illinois down one to five. UK is up to number 15. Muskie stay at 28. Ohio State 30. UC drops one to 31. The Xavier women already clinched the A-10's top seed in the tournament. Today, rounding out the conference schedule, by winning in style the regular season title outright. The Muskies beat St. Bonaventure 93-82. Taru Tukin in 25 points and 9 boards. Jen Phillips 24 points, 8 rebounds. X is 25 and 2. 
15 and 1, and the top seed in the 8 10 tournament. Play on Saturday begins at noon as X will take on the winner of Rhode Island and UMass. Well, Ken Griffey Jr. appears to be right at home in Red Spring training this year, but is everything okay with Jr.? Sports director Brad Johansson reports from sunny Sarasota. Brad? Harvey, when you talk to Ken Griffey Jr., the one message you get very clearly is, leave me alone. I just want to play baseball. But reluctantly this week, Junior sat down with me one-on-one -on -one to talk about everything from the death threats that he and his family experienced last year to life after baseball. Was it less of a year than you had hoped for? Like I said, I don't, I don't set goals or expectations. I don't put any. The only thing I, I put on myself is I go out there and play 100% every day. What I have, I have. That's it. I can't control once I hit the ball and somebody catches it. But I can go out there and play hard every day. Is there no high and low then? No, no disappointment as to as to where the numbers end up per year as to what you do from day to day. I'm doing something I love to do. That's for baseball. Is it still as fun as it used to be? And when you're winning, everything's fun. When you're losing, it's not fun. Were expectations too high from other people last year about what this team could do? That's that has nothing to do with the 25 guys in there. All we can do is go out there and play. That's all that we really care about. What you guys say or, or write doesn't mean anything. What you guys write on paper, we still got to go out there and play. For what, what the guys were in the clubhouse last year, do you think this team expected too much of, of what you had? Or did the injury bug have a huge factor on what happened last year? And when you got guys, you know, guys to go down, you know, your everyday players, it, it makes it tough makes it tough for any team. I mean, you take, you know, Randy out of the Diamondbacks, you take Barry out of San Francisco, uh, you, know, you take Alex, you know, out of Texas, you know, or Ralphie or those guys, you know, or Pudge, you know, you take any of those guys out for a long time, man, and it's going to affect the ball club. Do you think it's interesting now, uh, the way Seattle is reacting to Alex Rodriguez leaving for $252 million and Ken Griffey Jr. left for a lot less than market value to come to Cincinnati. I'm not Alex, and you know, I signed for what I signed for. That's bottom line. I didn't. I want to be close to my family. I think uh, you know people don't understand that, and it took you know a contract like Alex for people to put it in perspective that you know what I said was the truth, and you know I didn't lie about it. I mean I didn't come and hold Cincinnati hostage and say I'm going to Cincinnati and I want X amount of dollars. I didn't do that. They came back. I mean, if you look how fast my contract was signed, you guys had no idea. So has it been a good decision for you? You made the decision to get closer to your family. Has it worked? That's the important thing. Has it worked? Has it worked? Yeah. I mean, I can, like right now, I can get up and drive to Orlando and hang out with my son and daughter until they go to bed and I can jump back in the car and come back here. I can do that. And it makes a difference. Yeah, it makes a difference. Makes a difference in how fun the game is? It makes a difference on life itself. Um, if you come to the ballpark and you've got some things on your mind, you're not going to perform. And if you don't have those things on your mind, and you're going to go, play better. You talked about the things that were on your mind last year. FBI having to follow you the entire year long. Is that gone or will that ever be gone? We'll soon find out. I don't know. I don't where is it right now? I don't even, I just come to spring training practice. I just come to play. But you say something on your mind. Is that is that something that stays on your mind with people making death threats? Does it stay on? Well anytime that you know you have people making threats of, you know, how small or how big, it's always gonna stay on your mind. And, you know, it's one of the things that, uh, you know, the, the people outside of, you know, my life will never understand. Did that make last year extremely difficult to play baseball and, as you say, enjoy playing baseball? No, I enjoy playing baseball. Uh, just that you're constantly aware of things and you're constantly on, on edge. Has the edge gone off any? No. And probably won't. It's part, it's part of my life now. You know, did it for a year and a half. Thanks, Brad and Junior. Now, where will the Reds wind up this season? Time for you to make the call. Will the Reds win the World Series? 
win the NLCS? Win the NL Central, miss the playoffs entirely, or do we dare say finish under 500? Give us a call right now, 345-1212, cast your vote. We'll have results a little later in the show. And coming up, Brad goes one-on-one -on -one with Red General Manager Jim Bowden and looks at the intricate relationship between Bob and Aaron Boone. But first, take a look at this week's local college basketball schedule. Enjoy the performance before it begins. The 260 horsepower CL Type S from Acura. Folks, if somehow you can get to the Buddy's Carpet nearest you before Wednesday night, you can save a ton of money because there's a huge, sickening price rise on carpet, vinyl, ceramic, and laminate, but you still have no interest or payments for over a year, but save yourself some money. Get the Buddy's Carpet before Wednesday night. You got a buddy in the carpet business. The 2001 Doppler 12 Weather Almanac is here. Written by 12 News meteorologist Steve Horstmeyer, this is your guide to this year's weather, plus an historical look back at turbulent tri-state weather. This year, we've included valuable home improvement tips from Gary Sullivan of the 12 Home Team and special coupon offers from Hater Hardware. Get your copy of the 2001 Doppler 12 Weather Almanac today. Now available at Hater Hardware locations. For more information, log on to theweatherauthority.com. We all work hard and that's okay. Celebrate life in every way. Attention, the Auto Expo may be over, but we're still celebrating with Auto Expo bonus cash incentives. Now get $2,000 cash plus $750 Auto Expo bonus cash on a 2001 Explorer four-door. And $1,000 cash plus additional $500 Auto Expo cash to get you $1,500 total cash on Windstar. Hurry, Auto Expo bonus cash ends February 28th. Get to your greater Cincinnati Ford dealer today. How your weight affects your wallet. Monday at 11 on 12 News. It's time for you to make the call. How will the Reds do this season? Win the World Series? Love it. Win the NLCS? Love it. Win the NL Central? Sure. Miss the playoffs entirely? Or do we dare say finish under 500? You make the call right now. 345-1212. We want your vote. We'll tally them up and have results a little later in the show. Welcome back. Imagine working with your, uh, your job with your father every day. Sports Director Brad Johansson reports on the Boone and Boone connection from the Reds camp in Sarasota. Harvey, you always talk about uh, chemistry on a team. And there are definitely two guys on this squad that have chemistry beyond anybody else on this team. Probably because they're father and son. And it is going to be an interesting year between the manager and the player, Bob and Aaron Boone. But I got to get close to the runner have any chance or when Bob Boone fills out his lineup card this year one of the daily questions will be what do I do about my son he's just another player uh, you know he, I would say he's one of my favorite players <laughs> this isn't the first time that Aaron's dad has been in this position he coached his son Brad in Seattle back in 94 I dealt with him much as I have his, his whole life and uh, the difference was when we walk in the clubhouse and you put on the uniform it becomes very much a professional relationship. This, though, is a step up as the manager for his boy who just happens to be the starting third baseman for the Reds. I'll come home and my wife will say, how'd Aaron do today? I say, you know, I don't know. I just saw a little bit of what he was doing. You know, but he's a pro, and, and that's really the difference. The difference, you know, it's not like coaching your kid in Little League. My mom tells me, and everyone thinks we're a lot alike, and I'm like, no, we're not. And, um, so that definitely means you are. <laughs> I, I don't know. I think in some ways we are, but, 
you know, I think one thing we both bring is a lot of passion to what we're doing. And what they're doing is trying to get the Reds back into the playoffs. But in the locker room, Dad's the new guy. And he's not yet one of them. You know, I don't want anyone to feel like, oh, Aaron's around. And I don't think that'll be the case. Obviously, they're probably not... If somebody hates my dad, they're not going to be talking to you that way yeah. about it, understandably. But at the same time, you know, my teammates know what kind of guy I am and know that, you know, first and foremost, I'm their teammate. And his dad is his manager first on the field. If it ever comes to benching Aaron, not a problem, Bob says. But when he goes to fill out that daily lineup card, he expects to write down his son's name. You know, I don't know if he's going to be a star major league player, but he's certainly going to be an everyday uh, <clears throat> major factor in, in our ball club. Harvey, it was a tumultuous year for Jim Bowden and a lot of the Reds' management last year in dealing with the Jack McKeon situation, having to bring in Bob Boone. That didn't go very smoothly. Having to cut the payroll. But you know what? Looking at going into this year, Jim Bowden's a pretty happy man. Let's go back live to Sarasota, Florida. Brad Johansson on Channel 12. I understand you're with the big guy, General Manager Jim Bowden. Let's go now live to Brad. Brad? Cut. Ready. We're going live. Brad, let's go. Get serious. Jim, is there anything different about this camp with... <laughs> you're not serious. <laughs> is this camp different with Bob Boone to begin with than with Jack McCann? Oh, no question about it. I mean, the whole atmosphere is different. Uh, Bob is very well organized. It's run very smoothly. A lot of work is being done. Is that different than it was last year? I think it's a lot different. I think I also get a sense of a lot more seriousness from our young players in getting the job done and the work done. Obviously, there's a lot more drills that are taking place. More fields are being utilized. Uh, more stations for the players. And I think Bob's done a great job so far. So without question, there was a lack of organization down on the field last year. I'm talking about this year right now. I'm not talking about last year, Brad. Move on. Yeah. Is, is he the guy that, that can bring a champion? to this to this city well he can't go on the baseball field and play for them but I certainly think uh, he has the ability to manage uh, the team that's here he has a good relationship I think with Barry Larkin Ken Griffey jr. Pokey Reese uh, of course his son Sean Casey uh, Scott Williamson Danny Gray is a good young nucleus that we have I think he has great leadership skills uh, there's no question who's in charge uh, when you look in that dugout it's gonna be Bob Boone and I think he's gonna do a good job with this ball club just about everything you did in the offseason was to find pitching uh, how did you do? Well, we got a lot of young yeah. pitchers. I mean, our big thing in the offseason was trying to get $10 million off the payroll, and we accomplished that. Yeah. But what we tried to do when we did that is we tried to get two pitchers back in every trade we made. And we did that in every trade except for the Chris Steins trade. And we've got some good young arms here. And, you know, it's a matter of time until uh, you find out what they can do at the big league level. But certainly uh, early on, uh, people like Chris Rietzma, Brian Reith have been very, very impressive. You had talked a lot about Seth Etherton. Seth Etherton, no question about it. He's been a little bit slowed. Uh, he had some uh, strength that we wanted to build up uh, in his body in a couple areas. Uh, but this is a guy that went 5-1 and one last year with Anaheim. And Seth Etherton is going to have a legitimate chance to be one of our five starters. So when you have guys like Etherton and Rietzma and Reith, we certainly have young arms to look at to go along with Harnish and Williamson, Fernandez, Descends, and Robbie Bell. Okay, let's mention the other Fernandez. Do you like the idea of having a knuckleball? Or in your rotation? Well, he's impressed me as much as anyone down here. It's only February the 20th, but the, to watch him throw knuckleballs by Barry Larkin, I almost, I was laughing. I've never seen Barry Larkin more fooled with a pitcher in my life than the other day. Does when he that, really have a chance? Oh, absolutely. The way that knuckleball was dancing the other day, and Barry got out of the, out of the cage, he looked at me and goes, man, that guy's better than Tim Wakefield. And and uh, that's what Jared showed the other day. Now, whether or not he can do it on a consistent basis, I'll tell you that March 31st. I, I don't know that now, Brad, but we're going to certainly give him a chance. This guy's won everywhere he's been. He won 10 games last year in AAA with a 3 ERA. Everywhere he's been, he's won. He never got a chance in Boston because he was in the shadows of Tim Wakefield, and no club's going to carry two knuckleballers. But I told the story to our guys the other day. I said, when I was young coming up in this game, and I was with the Pittsburgh Pirates, the one thing we hated to do was to go into Houston. Not because we faced Nolan Ryan, then the knuckleballer Necro, and then J.R. Richard after it, but our ball club would get into a slump for about 10 days after that because between looking at a 95-mile-an-hour fastball and a 62-mile-an-hour knuckleball, your hitters were all screwed up for about a week after that.
after that. Yeah. So imagine a rotation that had Harnish, a knuckleballer guy, and then Scott Williamson throwing 98 the next day. What kind of effect that would have on opposing teams? Yeah, we have open minds, and whether it's a left-handed starter or a knuckleball pitcher, we're going to look at everybody. People don't realize that when we acquired Pete Shirk from the Mets, he was the most hittable pitcher in the game. We're the only team that claimed him on waivers. The next year, he was second in Cy Young to Greg Maddox. Uh, that happens in baseball if you give people opportunities. So we're going to look at Rietzma. We're going to look at Reith. We're going to look at Jared Fernandez. We're going to look at Seth Etherton. We're going to look at all these kids we have. And if any of them can beat out what we have, they're going to get an opportunity in Cincinnati this summer. Thanks, Brad. Jim, don't ever change. Coming up, NASCAR remembers Dale Earnhardt as the drivers return to the track. The day in sports is next. Stay tuned. You're addicted, and sometimes it's all you can think about. Deep down, you want to stop. Maybe one more time. Is it drugs, alcohol, gambling? Millions of American men admit that they're addicted to pornography. If you, or someone you love, is struggling with pornography, and you want help, call Citizens for Community Values at 733-5775. Together, we can break the cycle of addiction. Looking for a new job opportunity? Then log on to jobops.net. Click on Search for Jobs and add your resume to the database. Your resume will be instantly emailed to companies looking for your skills. Messina Staffing and Messina Management Systems has opportunities available in accounting finance, administrative clerical, engineering manufacturing, and information technology. It's just that easy to find a new job. And the best part, it's free. So what are you waiting for? Your next new job could be just a mouse click away with JobOps.net. The expansion of more Super Fitness in the Forest Fair Mall is nearing completion. Join now for $19.99 a month. Hurry, the $19.99 special ends soon. Troubleshooter Howard A. Weeknights on 12 News. You always turn to them first. When it comes to your safety and the safety of your family, you turn to the experienced meteorologists of the Doppler 12 Weather Center. When it comes to severe weather, get the information you need from the people you trust. 12 News is the Weather Authority. Last chance for you to make the call. How do you think the Reds will finish this season? Win the World Series? Win the NLCS? Win the LNL Central? Miss the playoffs entirely? Or finish under 500? Give us a buzz right now. Last chance. 3, 4, 5, 12, 12. Cast your vote. We'll have results in a little while. Welcome back. In the wake of Dale Earnhardt's death last week at Daytona, the NASCAR season continues today with the Dora Loop 400. Let's go to Rockingham, North Carolina, where a moment of silence was held for the late number three, following a 90-minute rain delay. On the first lap of this race, Dale Earnhardt Jr. crashes into the wall, oddly similar to the wreck that killed his father last Sunday. Little Lee limps away, but no serious injuries. The rain won't go away, so after 52 of 393 laps, they postpone the race until tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock. Mike McCullough wins the first senior PGA Tour title at the Mexico Senior Classic by one stroke. Now let's go to the okay. Nissan Open. Leader he's, Davis Love III uh, isn't singing in this rain. Best Eight shot of the day, Michael Muir on number 10. The Eagle has landed. Ah. Beautiful. Like Hole in one. Tiger Woods has now gone eight tour events without winning. Today, 71 ties him for 13th. Robert Allenby ends the largest playoff in PGA history. Birdies the first extra hole, beating out five other golfers. The stuff seven-game win streak is over. Rockford beat him 103-97. Billy Thomas leads the way with 22 points. Let's go to the garden for a little group hug. Then it's Norfolk's Mark Bell breaking the ice. That score makes it one to nothing, but the Ducks answer. Sergei Vyshetkovich with the black, and the Ducks go on to beat the Admirals three to two. When we return, the very best the week has to offer in Deep Six, and the results from You Make the Call. Don't go to sleep just yet. Pizza. 
sounds good. At Bob Evans, we make dinner easy for busy families. Ooh, I want chicken. Ooh, I want chicken. You can have chicken. And our dollar ninety nine kids menu makes every family meal perfect. Mmm. How about pie? Yeah, pie. Can I have pie for dinner? Maybe for dessert. Pie is good. Life tastes better at Bob Evans. New Bob Evans Kids Menu, starting at just $1.99. I'm 12 News health reporter Kit Andrews. Now you can get even more health news by logging on to thehealthauthority.com or by calling the Health Authority line on 12 in touch. 345-1212, extension heal. If your doctor orders an MRI, how would you react? Get the facts to make it easier to go through the MRI or MRA scan from River Hills Healthcare. Join me for family health reports on 12 News at 5. Call 12 in touch and log on to thehealthauthority.com. Would you like to cut your credit card interest 30 to 100 percent and get a new start on your financial future? Credit Counselors Corporation can help you save thousands of dollars in interest late and over limit fees, making you debt free in less than half the time without increasing your payments. Let CCC help you get debt free without a high interest consolidation loan or bankruptcy. Take control of your financial future. Call CCC today at 513-381-2234. It can change your life. Oh, it is hard work and when the job has got to get done. Attention! The Auto Expo may be over, but we're still celebrating with Auto Expo bonus cash incentives. Now get $1,000 cash plus $1,000 Auto Expo bonus cash on a 2001 Ford F-150. Or $1,000 cash plus $500 Auto Expo bonus cash on a 2001 Ford Ranger. Hurry! Auto Expo bonus cash ends February 28th. The best trucks are built for tough. Get your greater Cincinnati Ford dealer today. 12 News, the Weather Authority. You made the recall, now the results. We asked, how will the Reds do this season? Your answer, 25% say they'll win the World Series. 10% feel they'll win the NLCS. 14% believe the team will win the National League Central. 13% say, no, nope, sorry, they'll miss out on the playoffs. And 38% say the Reds will finish under 500. Thanks if you were one of the more than 400 callers phoning us tonight. And welcome back. It's time for the top plays of the past six days. Yes, it's that time again for our viewer favorite we call Deep Six. The leading scorer doesn't score for you. He's averaging about 12 points a game. That's a Floor director K just love that guy dancing up the store. Hey, March Madness gets underway in February for some. Thomas More women, they're heading to the Division III NCAA tournament, facing Center College in Danville, Kentucky. That'll be on Wednesday. Defending Division II champs, NKU women, face Quincy in the GLVC tourney. That's in Evansville, Indiana, also on Wednesday. Norse men Thursday meet Missouri St. Louis. UC women begin conference play, Conference USA tournament, Friday, 3 o'clock, facing South Florida and Milwaukee. And that'll do it for right now. We thank everyone for joining us on this edition of the Ford Dealer Sports Authority. Don't forget to join Brad tomorrow right here at 6 o'clock. He'll have much more from Red Spring Training. We'll look for you next Sunday night, once again, here on the Ford Dealer Sports Authority. Good night. 
Monday at 11 on 12 News. They wanted to save money for their children's education. I figured I'd put in the bank and that way it would be safe and, you know, be there for them when they came time to use it. But when they checked on their account, the money was gone. It's a troubleshooter alert you can't afford to miss. Also, is your weight affecting your wallet? Does it matter if you're a man or a woman? A 12 News investigation explains how your earning power could expand by reducing the size of your waist. Monday at 11 and only on 12 News. Uncle Sam's winter furniture sale. Your way is our way. Name brand furniture, Lane Bassett, England by Lazy Boy. Sims sells the best for less. Uncle Sims will give you all the credit you want and need. Sims is credit headquarters, second chance credit, and 120 days same as cash. Don't rent. Buy your appliances, TVs, or stereos at Sims. All betting on sale. Twin, full queen, and king. Today, save 30, 40, 50 percent on new brand name furniture with store-wide in-store credit. That's Sims in Covington. Sims Furniture. Everyone knows pickups are supposed to handle well-loaded, but engineer Steve Nedzwicky knows a lot of their time isn't spent that way. For the GMC Sonoma Extended Cab, his team developed the Z85 suspension system that delivers surprisingly good handling even when unloaded. Steve wants you to take your Sonoma for a ride, not for a spin. Now get $1,500 cash back on a 2001 Sonoma four-cylinder extended cab. Rob Braun, a new generation of news. Free drinks all around. This guy's on the floor, and this guy's behind the wheel. And the free drinks just keep on coming with deadly consequences. Our hidden cameras show you where. She was the first survivor kicked off America's favorite TV show. Then information about her love life came out. I mean, come on. I am with a man who I love. Survivor Deb and her former stepson for the first time in love together and talking. A regular guy's dream come true. Imagine being right there while this is going on. It was absolutely unbelievable. How he wound up on location with the Sports Illustrated swimsuit models. Why was he picked to go? Then, actress Tiffany Amber Thiessen, as you've never seen her before. I don't think I'm showing any more than most Victoria's Secret or most, you know, Sports Illustrated swimsuit editions. Inside Edition Weekend. Hello and welcome to Inside Edition Weekend. I'm Stacy Sweet. And I'm Don Crickey. Thanks for joining us. If something is free, sometimes we tend to take a little more of it than is good for us. Ever notice how quickly a bowl of M&Ms disappears? But our investigative correspondent, Matt Mahar, has been looking into some freebies with much more dire consequences. Here's his hidden camera investigation. How they gone? This man appears to be so drunk he can barely talk. Yet watch as a cocktail waitress serves him another drink. This man has had so much to drink he's passed out on the floor. He's been lying there for 20 minutes. So where does the booze flow so freely? Thank you. On many of this country's riverboat casinos. Many of them are built on barges that never leave the dock. Their numbers have soared in the last 10 years, and with fierce competition for customers on most riverboat casinos, our producers found the alcohol comes fast and free. How many of these can I have a night? Oh, as many as you can drink. Unlike Las Vegas and Atlantic City, where there are plenty of hotel rooms, most of the riverboat casinos are in rural areas with far fewer accommodations, which means when the drunken gamblers head home, the majority of them head right for the highway and the results can be fatal. Roads around the casinos have been littered with death and devastation. In Lake Charles, Louisiana, two hours east of Houston, a drunken gambler leaves a casino, travels in the wrong direction on a highway, and causes a fatal head-on collision. I was infuriated. I couldn't believe that the, the casino gave him that much to drink and then let him out the door. Bernie Young is talking about this man, Chris West. Police say he was the drunk driver in the car that killed Bernie Young's mother-in-law, wife, and an 18-month-old son, and left another son crippled. There's not a day that goes by that I think about my son and what he would be doing with me today. 
Young's lawyer obtained a security tape from the casino that he says shows while West was playing craps, he was served at least 10 cocktails in a two-hour period. Cops say West's blood alcohol level was two times the legal limit. He had four previous drunk driving convictions. All that remains of the deadly accident is a roadside memorial. There's no doubt in your mind why they give the alcohol away free, is there? No doubt at all. They get these people who come into the casino gambling so drunk to spend more money. There's no research to support uh, the notion that um, drinking causes someone to gamble more. Judy Patterson is a senior vice president at the American Gaming Association. She says cocktail servers go through extensive training to spot drunks. The policy is the same across the board, not to serve anyone who's visibly intoxicated. But when we took our hidden cameras to riverboat casinos, the drinking was non-stop. Carts of beer were emptied out on the casino floor. How long does that take, like half an hour, an hour? 20 minutes he'll empty this thing? Although he didn't drink any of them, our producer had no problem ordering six drinks in one hour. Thank you. Nowhere is the problem more evident than here in Tunica County, Mississippi. Until eight years ago, this area was little more than soybean and cotton fields. It had been described as America's Ethiopia, the poorest county in the continental U.S. But all that's changed now. Ten casinos already dot this small town, and there are plans for even more. Thousands of jobs and much-needed tax dollars have poured into the rural community, but at a tragic cost. Deadly accidents have become common in this county. The year before the first casino opened in Tunica County, there were 58 DWI arrests. But eight years later, there were 352, a 600% increase. All right, I'm going to pet you down real quick there just for uh, the officer's safety there. Right. We spend an evening with Tunica County's DWI officer, Sergeant Farrell Hunter. If they want to drink, they can go to every last casino in this county and get much alcohol they want to. And then get on the road. Then get on the road. It was one DWI arrest after another. Are you had anything to drink tonight? Yeah. This is like shooting fish in a barrel. You, you could do this every night, right? Oh, yeah. This is every night thing right here. All night long. You could. All night long. We were going to grow old together and <laughs> help raise our grandbabies. Two years ago, Connie Brown's husband, Michael, went to Fitzgerald's Casino in Tunica after he got off work. Fitzgerald's was running a special promotion like this one, where if you cash your paycheck at the casino, you get to spin a wheel with a chance of winning a large payout. Michael cashed two paychecks, lost most of his money, and got so drunk on free booze that on the way home, he lost his life. <laughs> it's just dumb. It's like that. Notice Brown's signature on the first paycheck he cashed around 6 p.m. Now take a look at his signature five hours later, barely legible, and a clear warning sign that he was loaded. That's the second paycheck. Do you even recognize it? It doesn't look like a signature. When we went to Fitzgerald's last month, the alcohol was flowing. We saw this guy drink six beers and a shot of whiskey in an hour and a half while playing blackjack. After a meal, he grabbed another beer and drove home. Fitzgerald wouldn't comment on their alcohol policy or Connie Brown's husband's accident because of pending litigation. Remember this guy? He seemed so drunk at Harris Casino in Lake Charles, Louisiana, he was about to pass out. I want you to give a damn He was attempting to get his car and drive home. Luckily, he parked his car with a valet instead of this huge adjoining self-parking facility. The valet refused to give him the keys. But unfortunately, many drunken gamblers never get stopped before they get in their cars. And the results can be tragic. Innocent people can be hurt. Tragedy can happen. And families can be ripped apart. <laughs> A spokesman at Harris said it's against company policy to serve someone who's intoxicated. As for the man who killed those three people in a drunken collision, he was never charged. Prosecutors say that's because he remained seriously injured from the accident.
still to come. She was the first survivor kicked off America's favorite TV show. Then information about her love life came out. I was kind of embarrassed. I, I was afraid. Exclusive. Survivor Deb and her former stepson in love, together and talking. I won't judge you. Don't judge me. Then a guy's dream come true. Why was he picked to be with the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Models? Inside Edition Weekend will be right back. That was me when I found out I was pregnant. I really lost it. My boyfriend wanted me to have an abortion. My parents, they sent me mixed signals. Everybody knew what I should do except for me. Then I talked to some people I didn't even know. They were kind, caring, and compassionate. They helped me make a choice I can live with. And maybe they can help you too. Call them today. Unrecaptured capital gains, investment expenses, sole proprietor. No matter how complicated your taxes, H&R Block will solve them for you because we do more complex taxes than any CPA firm. The H&R Block Million Dollar Giveaway is huge, you know, but we're tax professionals, you know. We're staying focused. Enter by using H&R Block for your tax preparation and just log on to hrblock.com to win a million dollars. Everybody on. Construction is nearing completion on the new larger workout area for Moore's Super Fitness in the Forest Fair Mall. To celebrate, all Moore's great clubs are bringing you the body sculpting program with dues of only $19.99 a month. Just $19.99 a month. We're in Beachmont, Loveland, Coleraine, Florence, and in the Forest Fair Mall. Call 1-800-MOORS-24. At Moore's Fitness Centers, we're taking everybody on. You've got one busy day and zero time for menstrual pain. That's why there's Pamprin. No other brand offers fast, long-lasting menstrual relief that's more complete. Now go ahead, take on your busy day with complete relief from Pamprin. We connect optical fiber in some pretty tight places, so I'm not surprised when my back gets a little tight. When it does, I reach for Icy Hot. It goes on icy to dull the pain, then gets hot to relax it away. So when things get tight, I call an Icy Hot. She made Survivor history. The first contestant voted off unanimously. And if Deb Eaton thought the tribal council was tough, she never imagined how tough the court of public opinion could be in judging her private life. April Woodard has our exclusive interview with Deb and her former stepson. They're involved in a love relationship that's raised eyebrows and questions. First person voted out of the tribe. Deb. Hers was the first torch to be extinguished in the outback. Some say 45-year-old Deb Eaton was just too bossy to click with the other Survivor contestants. Stay in the front, Nick, and keep us going north to northeast. In a show first, Deb became the only Survivor ever to be voted out by all seven of her fellow tribe mates. Today, Deb has returned home to snowy New Hampshire, where she works as a corrections officer in a men's prison. As well as returning to everyday life, Deb returned home to a flood of hurtful stories about her private life. What do you think about what's been said about you? I think that the public is sadly misinformed about Deb Eaton. The New Hampshire countryside is a world away from the Australian outback where Americans first met Deb Eaton. But it's not where she lives, but who she lives with that has thrust Deb back into the spotlight. The public thinks that I'm, I don't know if I want to use the word immoral or uh, the, the tabloids use the word incest. I mean, come on. I am with a man who I love. But Deb's relationship with 34-year-old Bob Eaton, 11 years her junior, has raised plenty of eyebrows. They don't share the same last name because they are married. They share last names because Bob is the son of Deb's late husband, Don Eaton. Although they have no blood relation, Deb has gone from being Bob's stepmother to his lover. He's like my soulmate. And I'm never going to walk away from that based on what the American public thinks about me because they don't know me. They eat me. To get a better idea of their controversial relationship, Deb and Bob agreed to be interviewed together for the first time. You know, our relationship's a private thing. Right. And I wish it had stayed that way. Things had been private until Survivor catapulted Deb into the spotlight. 
In 1997, Deb was living in anonymity when her husband Don, a police officer, died on duty of a heart attack. After Don died, I was, I, I was alone and I felt alone. Now widow, Deb established a close bond with Bob, one of Don's sons from a previous relationship. Bob was going through a very difficult time. As well as losing his father, he had just gone through a divorce. Although Deb first met Bob when he was a teenager, she says she never really had a stepmother-son relationship with him, since he and his brother were older when they had lived with her and Don. Yeah, I never tucked those kids in. I, I, never, I never had anything to do with their lives. But after Don's death, Deb and Bob spent more and more time together. As they worked through their grief, they realized they had feelings for each other. I was with his father for 20 years. All of a sudden, I feel like this about this guy. It was hard for me. I mean, I, I was kind of embarrassed. I, I was afraid. Who was the person who pursued the other? I think that would be me. <laughs> Did you ever have a feeling, oh my gosh, you know, this is my dad's ex-wife. What would my dad think? I've never really had those feelings. Um, I personally believe that my father would be fine with it. And I think that if my father would have to think of Deborah being with someone else, he would want it to be me. I believe that Donald would be very happy with the situation. Naturally, this was not an easy transition. At first, Deb's son, Jason, a Marine, had a major problem with it. Although Jason has no blood relation to Bob, he thought of him as a brother. Deb says Jason is now accepting. Uh, there also was the issue of how to explain yeah. everything uh, to Bob's two children you. from his past marriage. After all, they called Deb grandma. My son was only four, uh, and I didn't really expect him to, to fully understand what was going on. Um, my daughter was nine, I believe, and so I, I just sat her down and told her flat out, you know, Deb and I are together now, and I know this is really strange to you, and she was great with it. Deb and Bob say they have lost some friends and some family members by getting together, and what has hurt the most is gossip that their relationship was going on before Don died. That's hurtful to Don's memory. That's hurtful to me as a person to think that I would ever, ever do something like that, and him. That was his father who he loved. That is nonsense. And that's very hurtful, and I hate hearing that kind of stuff. Deb and Bob say their love is stronger than any criticism that comes their way. They share the same outdoorsy interests and do everything together. It was Bob who shot Deb's audition tape that got her on Survivor. I got determination, I got personality. And Bob was sure Deb was going to be bringing home the million dollars. I don't know. I just knew that she would, um, she'd succeed because Deb doesn't not succeed. Oh, tell that to my seven other tribe members. <laughs> Deb says her former tribe mates have all been supportive of her and Bob, and she has a message for those who still cannot accept them. You live your life, I'll live mine. I won't judge you, don't judge me. Deb and Bob both work together at the same prison. They tell us they have no plans to get married. Still to come on Inside Edition Weekend. Home movies from this guy's dream vacation come true. Watching the world's most beautiful models shoot the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition. Plus, all grown up actress Tiffany Amber Thiessen as you've never seen her before. Production assistance for Inside Edition Weekend provided by... Introducing the new Carefree Thong Panty Liner. It stays in place with wings, so you stay fresh all day. New Carefree Thong Panty Liners. Be fresh. Be carefree. Inside Edition Weekend will return in a moment. I guess we were like a lot of families. Too many credit cards and consolidation loans. With all those bills, we were in way over our heads. The stress was affecting his work and our marriage. Then I called Trinity Credit Counseling. They're good people. It wasn't another loan. It was a way out of debt. Looking back, Trinity saved us more than just money. They saved our family. If you're looking for driving excitement, there are only two places to go. The Pontiac Display at the Cincinnati Auto Show or your Pontiac dealer. Cincinnati area residents with a current smart lease. Leave your checkbooks at home and pay nothing at lease signing. 
Now through February 28th, lease a 2001 Grand Am FB for as low as $265 a month with zero due at lease signing. Tax title and license or extra call for important lease details. And drive away some Pontiac excitement today. At the Cincinnati School of Medical Massage, you can train to become a licensed massage therapist. Approved by the State Medical Board of Ohio, the Cincinnati School of Medical Massage offers a licensure program at our state-of-the-art facility in Blue Ash. I'm a graduate of the school. Being a licensed massage therapist has changed my life. I have a great income, my hours are flexible, and I truly love what I'm doing. I'm also a graduate of the school, and today I have my own massage clinic. So change your life. Call the Cincinnati School of Medical Massage today. Hi, I'm Florence Henderson. Listen to this. Here's something you'll want underfoot. Come to Carpetland Carpet One for Waverly Carpet in a dazzling range of colors and styles. It's made with Anso Crush Resistor 3 Fibers, designed for fashion, engineered for performance. Right now, get up to 40% off the new line of Waverly Carpet at Carpetland Carpet One, and you'll have no payments and no interest for six months. When it comes to flooring, nobody does it better. Right on target. Now, there's a men's hair color made to target only your gray hair. Grecian 5. It's right on target. In five easy minutes, Grecian 5 targets only the gray hair, replaces it with subtle tones like your own natural color. Right on target. It matches the rest of your hair for a subtle, natural look. Grecian 5 targets only the gray. It's a time-honored tradition, a signal moment in the sports world. Okay, so it's just the annual Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Issue, the magazine's top seller. April Woodard reports on one man who got to live out his dream by going along with the bathing beauties for the big photo shoot and tells us how much it costs to tag along. Great, great. When right. guys lay their eyes on these swimsuit lovelies, one of the things that comes to mind for sure is, boy, what I wouldn't give to be there. How about 20,000 big ones? The much-anticipated Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition hits the stands this week. But BK Boreco got the preview men would kill for. The internet entrepreneur from Scottsdale, Arizona, bid on the chance to go on location. You don't really know how much to bid because you got to, there was a couple other guys that were bidding against me. Uh, but I stomped him into the ground with a bid of $20,500. Great, great torque. The swimsuit edition was shot in places like Tunisia, Greece, Hawaii and Italy. Boreco traveled to Italy with his camera. He was behind the lens for all the action most of us never, ever see. You got to meet the models, got to have brunch with the models, got to have dinner with the models, go on the photo shoot with the models. It was, uh, it was a real dream come true. The weather wasn't quite a dream for Boreco or the Sports Illustrated team. It rained almost constantly for four days. The sun broke for like an hour, so they brought in this classic Italian sports car and they had to actually shoot under the overhang because it was raining. Rain or shine, this photograph is a real winner, and so is the 2001 issue. Elsa Benitez snagged a cover this year in a simple pumpkin-colored bikini, and bikini is the key word throughout the magazine. Get this, 5,500 suits were considered for the layout. And how about this? The magazine shot just over 100,000 pictures, but only 80 made the issue. People ask me, was it worth the 20 grand? Well, the good thing was that it, it went to charity, um, but the better thing was I got to go to Italy for a week and, and hang out with Supermodel. What happened to baseball dream camps? And when we come back, a Hollywood star talks about the controversy over her latest photo shoot. Tiffany Amber Thiessen's Red Hot Layout when Inside Edition Weekend comes back. Production assistance for Inside Edition Weekend provided by... Sometimes it seems there's just not enough minutes in the day to do everything you need to do and still make your family dinner. Pull it all together with Manwich. Inside Edition Weekend will return in a moment.
try it both ways. Most dancers are afraid of losing a step. After I had my stroke, I was afraid I'd never dance again. Now I take bare aspirin every day, like my doctor said, to help prevent another stroke. Aspirin is not appropriate for everyone, so be sure to talk to your doctor before you begin an aspirin regimen. And when my body is sore, I take extra strength bare. It's that strong. It's great to be back. Bear, take it for pain, take it for life. Ouch! Pain again? I thought your dentist said brush with Sensodyne every day. I stopped when the pain stopped. Keep using it. It keeps working. Sensodyne every day. Now try Sensodyne Tartar Control plus whitening every day. Facts of Life by Lysol. Facts. Mention scrubbing the toilet and you always get the same reaction. Fact. New Lysol foam power cleans your toilet without brushing. And it's from Lysol, the number one brand of toilet cleaners. Life demands Lysol. That's a fact. Coming up on Inside Edition Weekend, Tiffany Amber Thiessen's controversial new photo shoot. Tiffany tells us she doesn't know what all the fuss is about. Take a look at the photos and you decide when we come back. The impact of Inside Edition Investigations. TV's toughest style of storytelling. Sometimes it all comes down to one question. How many people have you scammed? One answer. Isn't that dangerous? This is dangerous. One moment of truth. Now don't put your hand on the camera. Righting the wrongs, changing the rules, stopping the bad guys from hurting the little guys. Award-winning investigations that bring about real change. How much longer are you going to keep doing this to people? Inside Edition. Standout storytelling can turn things around. Verizon Wireless introduces Mobile Messenger. Chelsea, Dad wrote us an email. Yep. Now you can chat using your wireless no phone way. without talking. <laughs> Mobile Messenger from Verizon Wireless. Simple, affordable, national. Join in. Oh, she tell you? She quit. No more cigarettes. Gave them up all at once. Tough, but it's the best way. Total commitment. And total smart. Yeah, well, Nicoderm CQ. Nicotine cravings are rough. Last time, cold turkey. I was bad company. <laughs> there was this time that she... Oh. With CQ, I get the highest level of nicotine. Step down gradually, three steps forward, no steps back. That's my plan. Nicoderm CQ, the power to help you quit. Now, let's talk about some of your bad habits. On the next Inside Edition, actress Kate Hudson, up for an Oscar, didn't invite her own dad to her wedding. Exclusive. Her biological dad talks about his relationship with Kate. Watch the next Inside Edition. And finally, as a kid, she was a star on Saved by the Bell. But Tiffany Amber Thiessen's all grown up now, and if there were any doubt of that, she's dispelled it now. Oh, and how? Here's Steve Noble. Hi, guys. Hi, Zach. The image of Hi, Tiffany Amber Thiessen from her days on Saved by the Bell can easily be described as wholesome and sweet. But look at her now. This is the March cover of For Him magazine, a testosterone-filled young men's glossy just launched in America. If you want to kiss me, go ahead. Thiessen shot to fame on Beverly Hills 90210 and has a recurring role on the show Two Guys and a Girl. I can't stand you guys not being friends because of me. It's not her acting that has people talking. It's these photos that nearly rival a Playboy spread. The buzz about this layout has Thiessen baffled. But honestly, I don't know why I'm getting so much attention. It's just a cover that, you know, that I did. And, you know, I don't know. I don't, I, it's really shocking, actually. As risque as the pictures appear, Thiessen doesn't think they pushed the envelope. I don't think I'm showing any more than most Victoria's Secret or most, you know, Sports Illustrated swimsuit editions, you know, show. So, no. It's become almost a rite of passage for young actresses, from Shannon Doherty to Jennifer Love Hewitt, to pose for this new breed of magazines. What this does for their careers can't really be measured, but if it's buzzed thereafter, then it works. Sure gets your attention. It's called keeping that 15 minutes of fame going as long as you can, and that's Inside Edition Weekend for today. I'm Don Cricky. And I'm Stacey Sweet. Thanks for watching. We'll see you right back here next week.
impressive somehow you can get to the Buddy's Carpet nearest you before Wednesday night. You can save a ton of money because there's a huge, sickening price rise on carpet, vinyl, ceramic, and laminate, but you still have no interest or payments for over a year, but save yourself some money. Get the Buddy's Carpet before Wednesday night. You got a buddy in the carpet business. Gross. No matter what you do, you can't get it off. And nothing works. It's so a lime calcium and rust cleaner. Look, I don't even have to wait. Lime Away, the easy way, complete with advanced rust formula. I want to do everything. <laughs> Facts of Life by Lysol. Fact. Caps don't come with breaks. Fact. No other wipe kills germs faster than new Lysol sanitizing wipes. They kill 99.9% .9 of germs in seconds. Life demands Lysol. That's a fact. Uncle Sam's Winter Furniture Sale. Your way is our way. Name brand furniture, Lane Bassett, England by Lazy Boy. Sim sells the best for less. Uncle Sims will give you all the credit you want and need. Sims is credit headquarters, second chance credit, and 120 days same as cash. Don't rent. Buy your appliances, TVs, or stereos at Sims. All betting on sale. Twin, full, queen, and king. Today, save 30, 40, 50 percent on new brand name furniture with store-wide in-store credit. That's Sims in Covington. Sims Furniture. Cincinnati Wine Festival's Grand Tastings, March 9th and 10th. While this episode was inspired by actual events, all of the characters depicted in the episode are fictional. Certain scenes were created for dramatic purposes, and any similarity to actual persons living or dead is purely coincidental. criminal database is the largest in the country. Real-time updates with NCIC, the National Fingerprint Registry, and VICAP allows the VCTF to affect the investigations of up to 800 cases at a time, nationwide. So, the American people are getting something for their money. If you thought the VCTF was an unnecessary expenditure of the American people, Madam Congresswoman, you wouldn't have turned to us for help. And if you thought you needed to address me as Madam, you wouldn't be giving me this tour with a stain on your tie. The abduction of Ruth Lassen and her two daughters is something that we can't tolerate. Missing for a week is not evidence of an abduction. I need a crime scene, witnesses. It's evidence enough for the press. These stories are driving visitors away in droves. A dip in tourism doesn't justify the expense of VCTF resources. So what will you give me for free? The number to the Sacramento field office. My support for your profile? You need damage control. I have a congressional budget hearing at the end of the month. I could use someone like you in my corner. My position on law enforcement spending is a matter of public record. People have been known to change their minds. Work with us. See what we do. Maybe your position will soften. Agent Burke. <clears throat> the congresswoman needs a profile. Based on this? Hypothetically. Well, hypothetically, we're probably looking at a white male, age 24 to 32 years old. He's familiar with the area, suggesting a local inhabitant. He's a loner, with no significant relationships in his life, allowing him to come and go without being noticed. He's careful not to do anything to call attention to himself. Preying on the weak and the innocent, unable to stop or control his urges again and again without remorse until he's either caught or dies. Hypothetically.
Genetics gave you one kind of hairstyle. Maybe you'd prefer another? Presenting Physique, scientifically designed to let you create and keep the hairstyle you want. Physique Volumizing Collection gives amazing volume. Physique Straight Shape Collection gives an incredible straight look. Each lasts 20 hours. So while genetics may be predetermined, your style is totally up to you. Physique Collection. Physique Science gives you the style nature didn't. Well, we see vacations as a time for learning and growing. We've done everything from witnessing the miracle of life. <laughs> yeah, we had a chance to clean up after an accident out at the power plant. Are your feet hot? We spent a week improving our family dynamics. They loved it. They loved it. Some families prefer to have fun. They go to Universal Orlando Resort. You'll get an extra day free when you use your Discover Card. Check out discovercard.com. When you have an ailment, different doctors might recommend different treatments. But for yeast infections, the number one recommendation of doctors is specific. Monistat. The number one doctor-recommended brand. Monistat. I need energy. I need a zookeeper. Because we all need something different to feel our best, One A Day has created different formulas. One to ease tension, one especially for healthy joints, and one for energy. One A Day, we've got just what you need. This is hip, baby. It's so hip, baby. Fridays. By the time we reach 40, about 40% 40 of us will already have visibly thinning hair. Shocked? So were we. Because we're women. Helpless? No, we're not. Because there's Rogaine. Rogaine can help us keep the hair we've got. There's hope. There's help. There's Rogaine. One room efficiency, washer dryer, new appliances, $5.50 a month. First and last month's rent and references. Yeah, but they never check those. Bailed out on your last apartment only three months rent. Leave that one off. I'm kidding. Come on, look at him. I'm gonna come clean. You're just like... It's failed in the first of the month, and I'll be out by then. Can't hurt to look. Agent Burke. The charred remains of two bodies were found inside Yosemite National Park. Two? I thought we were looking for three. Identities haven't been established. The bodies were too far gone. So much for my profile. Will she be coming with us? The congresswoman will be advised of our progress. See you on the plane. Right. I'm sorry, Danny. Right. We're not going. Look, I, I just can't right now. I, I can't. I'm sorry. I can take him. Great. Knew I liked this guy, huh? Huh? <laughs> I gotta go. Okay. I'm late for group. Mm. Huh? Huh? Thanks for helping me break in my kitchen the other night. Yeah, in the hallway, living room. Mm. You have a bedroom, don't you? Well, you just got to come over and find out. It's a very big place. I'm like this, five fifty a month. That's all I can afford. Well, I... You can't co-sign a lease for him, Rachel. You give him a safety net like that, and he'll dive right into it. George. <clears throat> We've taken primary on a case in Northern California. I want you with us. Please let me handle my end of it from here. I want you with us, George. Okay, Billy. They canceled me, you know, so I made another appointment. For a month from now. That was their first available. First available is what you get when you fail to mention the drug addiction that's affecting your work and destroying your life. You've lied about this long enough, George. The alternative is something neither one of us wants to consider.
identified the vehicle from the VIN number. Rented to a Ruth Lassen. She and her daughters were staying at the Mill Valley Lodge about six miles outside of town, along Highway 108. How far from the main road are we? I don't know, maybe a mile, a mile and a quarter. You'd have to know this area to know this spot was even here. Oh, we got a little biker problem. Drug use? I would strongly imagine, yes. I'll get with the Mariposa and Tuolumne County Sheriff's Office. Build a list of local offenders. Nick marks around the sternum. My fools. Pregnancy is keeping Grace grounded for a while. I'll get the remains back to her for identification. I'll need a chopper. Yeah, I got one on call. Evidence collected will be transported to the FBI lab in Washington. It's a good thing your new friend didn't deal away her entire congressional stance on my profile. Converting Karen Archer into a fan could make a big difference. Oh, that's what those looks were for, huh? Taking one for the team? <laughs> Bailey, I was way off. This was not done by somebody who wants to be ignored. This was done by someone who was screaming for attention. Led us right to the bodies. Don't overlook the empirical. A hangout for bikers could be the results of drugs, alcohol. An all-night binge that led to ritual and violence. Or it's someone who knew that's what we'd think. I mean, if they're burning evidence, why leave all this? They had reservations for three nights. I mentioned they might drive over to Big Sur for the day. Left their things in the room, so I assume that's what they did. I'll need a copy of your guest registry. Going back three weeks. Give me that. First. Just, will you two stop it? Mom, I just... Uh, uh, give that back. We try to respect the privacy of our guests. Questions will be kept the information they may have about the abductions. Did you hear any arguing or fighting coming from their room? No, ma'am. I hardly knew they were there. The place is just like they left. The room was clean. We didn't know anything was wrong. Did you see them leave? No. So they could have left the night before. Look, you know when I'm going to be able to turn the place over? I'll let you know when we're done. No sign of forced entry. No struggle. Wonder where Dolan was that night. Three women wouldn't open the door to a stranger. George, find out everything you can about the owner of the Mill Valley Lodge. The guy's name is Dolan. D-O-L-A-N. First name Mark. Yeah. Lisa's suitcase is brand new. More clothes, nicer 